Bedrock Preview 1.20.40.22 is here. So let's quickly cover what is new. Although this is quite a small one. So the first thing, there was a bug where if you was to edit a side of a sign, there was a rare chance where it would edit the opposite side. That has now been fixed and if you edit the front, the text will appear on the front. If you edit the back, the text will always appear on the back. There was also another rare bug and this bug had a 0.0000003% chance of happening. And that was if you was to break an item frame in survival mode, there was this percent chance that the item frame would drop nothing instead of the actual item. That is now no longer the case and the item frame will always drop an item when broken. There was also a bug with the actual toggle for education edition. If you was to close the game while the portfolio was open, it would then crash continuously I believe. That is now fixed and it should no longer crash. The actual game rule for spawn radius has had its default value changed to 10. I don't actually know what it was before. In Java edition the default is 16 I believe. I don't know what the default for Bedrock was, but now the default will actually be 10. There has been a change to Goat Horns. If you were to play a Goat Horn in multiplayer, players will now be able to hear the Goat Horn up to 256 blocks away. I don't know what the value was before. This does make them a little bit better because the only real use for Goat Horns is to communicate with people within your world from long distances, especially if you're too lazy to type in chat like me. There are three bug fixes to do with camels. There was a bug where if the camel was to walk, it would visually appear as they were sliding. That should now no longer be the case and their animations should play correctly. There was also a bug if a camel was to be in lava, it would continuously dash, although no one was actually dashing it. That should now also be fixed, and if it was in lava, it should now play its normal animations. And there was also a bug if a camel was standing still, like this one, its legs would still move as if it was visually walking, but now, as you can see, it will not do anything. When you actually create snow golems and iron golems, the particles will now be a crunching particle, as you can see right there, and that actually does look a lot better. This is under the parity change, but I don't believe this is a parity change. In Java, I don't think it plays the pumpkin animation although i could be wrong i think in java it only plays the actual main block animation but this is a good change nonetheless as it does look a lot smoother and cleaner there is also another parity change with witches a witch will now be able to attack a player within a 16 block radius so if you are within 16 blocks of a witch now it will basically be able to attack you or at least pathfind to you to attack you i don't actually know if this is a nerf or a buff as i'm not too sure what the radius was beforehand but this one is once again marked as a parity change so i'm pretty sure this is to now match java edition and another parity change which i'm not actually too sure what this one meant but it was to do with water and lava connecting to make cobblestone or obsidian and i'm pretty sure this was if they were both at their max length so as you can see if they had flown the most amount of blocks they can they wouldn't actually make anything when connecting. But as you can see, that is now actually still true. And they are still making cobblestone where they meet. So cobblestone farms on bedrock should now be a little bit more reliable. There is also some technical changes within this update. And as you can see, there are a lot of API changes, which you can see right there. There are actually quite a lot of them. If you do want to read them in more detail, I will quickly just scroll down so you can pause and read them. So there is the first bunch. And then if I scroll down, you can now see the next bunch. And then finally, the final few right there there is then also some changes to the editor i'm not actually too sure what this means i do know what the editor is but the actual changes don't really mean much to me as i haven't actually messed around with it but if you have here are some fixes and then also what they have introduced it does also seem like there is going to be something multiplayer coming to the editor because it says available in single player for now which maybe indicates that they're working on something for multiplayer although it's not ready just yet there are also some entity components which i have been changed or adjusted and then as you can see, there are performance and then some experimental API and performance. And then if you wasn't aware, the update 1.20.30 for Minecraft Bedrock Edition dropped yesterday. This was technically 1.20.20 and also 1.20.30. 
they were basically combined together for whatever reason and that update has now released which introduced the new you died screen crawling recipe unlocking the recipe books changes also the sleeping percentage and then a lot of vanilla parity changes including the actual block breaking ones so it looks like bedrock are getting quite a lot of good features and changes i do also have a java 1.20.2 video ready for whenever that releases it was meant to release sometime this week it could still release tomorrow or friday so i'll just wait as soon as that does release i have got a video ready to go out if you are also wondering how i actually have my skin upside down although i have actually noticed there are quite a few bugs with this as you can see my hand completely detached attaches from my body i've actually just done this by going in to settings i haven't actually signed in to this account and then i just go to account and as you can see my name is literally just set as grum and then i have just applied my skin and that is basically how i am upside down but anyway that is it for this video if you did enjoy do leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in another video very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye